Okay, this is a, just a quick update. Um, I've uh, discovered an issue um, that you may have. Um, it's not happening every time. And uh, what has happened, um, <clears throat> WordPress has decided today was the best day for them to um, upgrade um, WordPress to 3.5. And uh, so um, this may be causing some issues. Um, with with our sites but um, if you after you install you get um, a warning message um, like this um, and you look and it has uh, anything to do with Samson plugin okay um, I'm going to show you how or what we need to do to fix this and uh, so what you're going to do um, and, and I and I'm, I'm guessing this has something to do with um, WordPress being updated so um, look for this. If you get this message that you see here, um, you're going to log into your cPanel. And uh, I know this may be a little bit more than uh, what some of you are used to, but uh, you need to know how to do this anyway. Um, so you're going to log into your cPanel, and you're going to go down to File Manager. And uh, you can pick the site that you want to look at um, right through here. And uh, so what you want to do is just click on Go. And now you're going to look for the WP content folder. This, con this folder houses your themes and plugins for this site. So you're just going to double click on that. And then you're going to go into your plugins folder. Okay. And now you're going to look for the Samson plugin. So you'll scroll down and you'll find the Samson plugin. And again, this is after you've done the installation with uh, WP Clone. Um, so you're going to find this Samsung plugin. You're going to right-click on it, and you're going to click on Rename. Okay. So just simply put a one in front of it, and uh, rename the file. And what this essentially does is deactivate that plugin. And so if we go back and we refresh, it's going to take us to um, a screen like this. Now this is just asking us to do the update, the database update. Um, since WordPress updated. So we will just simply click on update. And you're probably going to get this every time um, you install a new site. And then you just click on continue. And then you're just going to log in with the um, um, login details that we give you on the download page. That's the right one. And when you log into your dashboard, one of the first things you want to do um, is you want to go down to um, settings and you want to go to permalinks. And you just want to uh, save changes. Okay, so if we take a look at the installed site. see that everything is there and what you want to do is you want to come down and make sure your um, permalinks are working correctly and uh, you can see that they are they're going to the individual pages so um, that's just a quick update and uh, just to show you um, what to do if this does come up for you when you do an install